Let's do some cleanup. First, I'm going to put my IDE in full screen mode. I'm not going to be looking at the test stuff too much in this step, so I'll close that. And in my code, I'd like to reformat it so that it obeys the standards set in my IDE. This is an action we will perform constantly. Let the IDE do our janitorial work for us. Reformat code. I'll go back to my app and do the same thing. Reformat the code there. And then everything will look the way that it should. In my app, I've got way more information than I need for the purpose of this tutorial. Don't need a logo, stuff like that. So I'm going to simplify this a lot and convert this to just a div. I'm going to use something called Emmet as a shorthand for making DOM nodes. So I'll say div h1 tab and then hello react. And so things are a lot simpler. We see that I just removed something that the IDE is now telling me is no longer used, this logo import. I could stop what I'm doing, go up to that line and delete it, but that kind of breaks my flow. And the IDE is good at doing janitorial work. Another one, just like reformat code that you will use all the time, is the optimize imports action which will remove any dead imports, resort them, combine them, etc., all based on the preferences that you have set uh, in your settings. We're also no longer going to use this CSS file, so I will delete that line. And what this also means is that I have two files that are no longer being used. I'm not using the logo, I'm not using the app.css, and when I delete these, I get the option for something called safe delete, which will look through your project to see if anything is trying to use those files. I'll go ahead and let it do that. Nothing was using it, so it was perfectly fine. A couple more IDE goodies that we want to show. Um, let's say that we forgot to uh, import React, and I'm in a TSX file, which does some uh, markup in it. I now see that I've got a warning saying that I'm using JSX without using React, and I can let the IDE help me fix that with Alt-Enter, and it will add React to the import statements. I generally don't use my imports that way. I do them all on one line without the TypeScript style of uh, import star from. Also, I could choose to rename my app. Let's say I want to call it my app. Don't know where all it's being mentioned. I know it's being used in tests. I know it's being used in the index.tsx entry point. So I'm going to use refactor rename and call this my app and then let the IDE find all the places that it's being used. Yes, go find all those places. It mentions to me where those places are. I'll do the refactor. Now, if I go take a look at my entry point, index.tsx, it says my app. What if I decide that was a horrible mistake and I want to undo all of those changes? The refactor is one editor transaction. So undo says, do you want to undo that rename? I say yes, and it's fixed here. It's fixed back in the original and in the, text as, in the test as well.